Well, good morning all. It is Tolly Sakalari from Trading Waves and today we're going to look at corrective waves. But before we get started, let me just give you firstly a simple explanation of how markets tend to trend. Now, when a market starts an impulse wave, which is a fast move in the direction of the trend, the market will then either need to correct in price, in other words, it gives us a sharp pullback, or it'll correct in time, which is a uh, time-consuming sideways consolidation. And a corrective pattern usually occurs at the end of an impulse wave. It is recognized by its overlapping nature. You may recall in our previous video on impulse waves, we mentioned that uh, impulse waves are clean structures, which are normally a fast move in a direction of the trend. And once complete, they are followed by a corrective pattern, which is a real struggle against the main trend. You can see that every time the market uh, trades to a new swing low, it tends to overlap, trades to a new swing low and then overlaps. It really has a difficult time accelerating to the downside. And uh, once complete and it uses up enough time and absorbs all this buying in here, the market then starts to break to the upside, finds very, very little resistance in the no more sellers. All the sellers were um, exhausted and now starts to accelerate up in another impulse wave uh, to resume the uptrend. Here's another example where the market accelerated up off a low in an impulsive manner and then has a real struggle to, um, to sell off, which is a, an indication of this pattern being a corrective pattern. And we know that once these corrective patterns are complete, the market will then resume the uptrend. So we've had an impulse wave, a five wave structure up, followed by a simple, this is a simple ABC corrective decline. Here we have a stock, uh, Rio Tinto back in 2006. We can see a nice impulse wave followed by a corrective uh, decline, a nice impulse wave, which is a fast move in the direction of the trend, followed by an overlapping corrective decline. A fast move again, which is a beautiful impulse wave, followed by a an ABC corrective decline and so on and so on. This stock eventually ended up trading as high as $150 a share. Let's look at an example with sideways consolidation. A stock uh, rallies in an impulse manner and then uses up uh, enough time. We can see the range has been very, very, very small in nature. Once this pattern is complete, after this sideways consolidation period, the market then accelerates up in an impulse manner, which is a five wave rally. And then once exhausted, it is followed by a corrective complex structure. You can see how it's overlapping and really, really struggling to go anywhere to the downside. So bottom line, to be able to analyze the market with confidence, we need the ability to identify a number of corrective patterns that do occur frequently in every time frame, ranging from a five minute chart to a daily chart and even a, a monthly chart. Now these patterns do repeat over and over again and the key is to identify the end of the corrective pattern uh, in order to trade successfully as we tend to make most of our money uh, during a, an impulsive uh, phase. Now in coming weeks I'll be covering some of these patterns in more detail and uh, in the meantime I hope you enjoyed this presentation and best wishes to all. Thank you. <music>